Culture with NSC. My chosen country was Senegal, and I chose to do the music in Senegal since it's such a big tradition in their culture. Sen but first, let's get started with some brief history about Senegal. Senegal is located in West Africa. Senegal is a democracy like us. That means that they can vote for their own presidents and representatives to represent the country in tough situations and any debatable laws or rules. The capital is Dakar. The population is about 11,658,000 people, and 2 million of those people are located in Dakar. The literacy rate is only 40% due to the fact that the Senegalese need to be home to help out, and they also don't have the access to the resources that we have that they would need to get an education. The two main religions are Muslim and Christian. There are also more minor religions, but those are the two most celebrated ones. The languages are French, Wolof, Polar, Diola, Iola, and Mandinka. The currency is a franc. Now on with the music. In Africa, it is, it is traditional to play music whenever there is a special occasion. There are seven traditional instruments plus hand clapping used in Senegalese music. First one is the Sebar, the Tama, the Tabula, the Kora, the Exalam, the Jambi, and lastly the Blalafon. By looking at the instruments, you probably notice two things. First, all the instruments were made out of wood because wood is so local and easy to get for the Senegalese and throughout Africa. Also, you probably noticed that drums were very common. This is because drums are used throughout Africa as the base of all music. When hitting an African drum, you want to hit where you see the green going around. I don't have an ring. actual African drum, but I'm going to use this one as an example. You want to hit around here when hitting an African drum. Depending on the sound, you might want to hit it in here, but you more likely want to go around here and hit it with the very end of your palm. So strike it like that. The last two traditional African instruments are just like guitars, but many versions. This is not one, if this is not an actual African instrument, it's just a mini guitar, but it's an example of what one would probably look like. This part would be thinner and not as curvy and sort of go straight out like a stick, a loaf of bread or something. And they would have the same sort of string mechanism and the same little tuners at the end. It'd be a lot thinner, but just about the same size as a mini guitar. And it's the same concept. You hit the strings that makes different sounds and just different sounds as our guitars because and some of it is due to the size and length difference in the two instruments. The African instrument Balalafon is just like our American xylophone. You basically just hit the keys and they make different sounds just like ours. This is not a Balalafon, this is a xylophone. The difference is that a blalafon makes much different sounds and goes at different pitches than as our xylophone. The first most the first common um, type of music in Senegal is mabalics. Famous artists are Jemmy Mebe, Bouba Kadiop, and Ismaili Leo. Malbec is Wolof saber drumming combined with um, Cuban noises and sounds. Hip hop was hip hop and rap are also very common there currently, and was influenced actually by the Americans and French. Our culture, our music culture, influenced um, theirs. It's the same thing as us just um, African and reggae is just something that's really common in their culture. Senegalese music is played and danced to on holidays and on um, celebrations and gatherings and at parties and when you just want to have fun I guess. 
and um, typically it goes along with your ethnic group or culture's um, specific dance. Every dance is relatively the same, but there's just different based on your ethnic group. You there's just minor differences. They're all African typical African dances. By watching this video I hope you learned a bit about Senegal and their musical culture. Thank you for watching my five minutes culture video.